All right, another fight week. Here we go. It's UFC Fight Night 139 in Denver, Colorado. The UFC celebrating 25 years of existence. They're going right back to where the same city where UFC 1 took place. All right, this time it's Chan Sung Jung versus Yair Rodriguez in the main event. Chan Sung Jung comes in at about minus 130, 135. Rodriguez comes back at about plus 120, 125. you got to shop around uh, so you can get the best odds that are out there. Rodriguez, by the way, is filling in on about three-week notice. Uh, Frankie injury is out uh, due to injury. All right, guys, uh, we'll start off with Dan Tom. In this main event, what do you see going down? It's a tough one. I mean, I don't disagree with the line, but I don't see how you could be comfort, uh, confident, you know, either side you're on in this fight. Uh, you know, like you said, three weeks notice roughly for Yair Rodriguez. One has to imagine he's been waiting for a fight. I mean, there's been kind of some uh, booking uh, entanglements that he's been attached to uh, loosely and, and firmly. He had to withdraw from a fight, I, I believe, himself uh, earlier this year. So that's the big question mark for me is, is what kind of condition is he coming in? Not only what kind of condition is he coming in, are we going to see an improved Yair Rodriguez? He is, you know, of the age of fighter where we should be seeing improvements each time out now without seeing him for i believe 18 months uh, since may of of last year that's going to be a big question a bigger layoff uh, is is chan sung jung the korean zombie um you know he's got 21 months ahead of him and if we want to even incorporate his, his second to last fight with jose aldo he's had one fight in the last five years but in the korean zombies defense in his last fight against dennis bermudez he proved he could come off a long layoff and have his timing down show improved skills in his takedown defense and his timing was there in the first round kind of shutting us all up as far as ring rust goes so he's kind of already proven that uh with that being said i, I will side with korean zombie uh, it's going to be chaos he's got to watch out for the head kicks of yair rodriguez you know we saw him get taxed early in his career by george roop uh but i'm going to go with the zombie especially the longer this goes i imagine elevation the pace that yair fights at and the short notice i'm not sure how much his cardio uh will hold up as good as it is all right how about you guys who do you like this one in well, this one I think Ariel Rodriguez probably has enough people around him to mimic the style that the Korean Zombie is going to bring. I don't know that the Korean Zombie has enough people, and I don't know that there's that many people on the planet that can mimic what Yair can do. And I think he's still getting better. I think he has an itch. He really wants to get back into that cage and prove everyone that he is the next big thing. Uh, so I just think between the speed, the distance, if he can manage that, I don't know that the Korean Zombie will be able to get his hands on him. And, and if he does all those things, he shouldn't be able to. So I'm going to go with Yair Rodriguez. Yair Rodriguez. All right. I also like right, uh, Yair Rodriguez in this fight. Like Dan noted, this will be – he's only had one fight since August of 13, uh, 2013 when he fought Jose Aldo. After that, he had to serve some time uh, – not that kind of time – in the military in, in uh, Korea, South Korea. Uh, and then when he came back, it was just, here you go. Let me uh, beat Dennis Bermudez and then see you in almost two years. Has he gotten better during that time? I imagine so. Uh, Korean combat sports athletes, Korean athletes in general, just seem dedicated to the craft and getting better. So I imagine he's getting better. I know Yair Rodriguez has been getting better since losing to Frankie Edgar. He took that loss hard. So I'm anxious to see where each guy stands. The thing about the Bermudez fight is he did look great, but did it happen too soon? And since then, Bermudez hasn't had the best of run. So is that one going to be too deceiving of a fight maybe? You know, I don't know, man. This, honestly, it's like flipping a coin between these two guys. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Yair Rodriguez. I think Yair, the, that altitude that you mentioned, I think it may come into play. This is five rounds. Uh, I, I just There's not a lot on the zombie in the last five years. So it's going to be a close one, man. I'm going to enjoy this one. UFC Fight Night 139. There you have it. There's our main event breakdown brought to you by the MMA Junkie Radio guys. Hey, give us a follow on Twitter. That's MMA Junkie. At, at, at Danton MMA, excuse me. That's at the goes. And I'm at MMA Junkie George. Barely getting it out, but there's our Twitter handles. And check out our show Monday through Friday on SiriusXM, Fight Nation, Channel 93.